Hello and welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. In the short term for Bitcoin, we are right now on the very edge of this level of support. So this 60K level, in my opinion, is a critical level of support to hold because otherwise it's definitely not looking good for Bitcoin because in the case that we lose it, well, then we are definitely likely to go to lower prices. For example, the next level of support below us is from about 57 and a half thousand down to 56 and a half thousand. And in the case that we do lose that level of support, then I do think we will quickly be trading down to the downside with the next big level of support below that being from about 53,000 all the way down to $50,000. But for now, let's continue by taking a look at this giant triangle pattern right here. We are still breaking down massively from the moment we broke this trend line. And in fact, after we got rejected from this previous level of support, now turned into resistance, we quickly moved down into this giant pocket of support. The price target that is currently active is about 58,000 US dollars, which would roughly be in this area of support. So if we lose this level, it could still be possible that we just take out the liquidity here and then move back to the upside. However, like I said, these levels right here are some of the most critical levels for Bitcoin right now, because in the case that we lose it, yeah, we are definitely going much lower in that case. And like I have been saying over the last couple of weeks or so, I definitely expect a lot of volatility around this Bitcoin halving, which is already in two days and five hours. And yeah, volatility is what we got to say the least. So everything going as expected, to be honest. Anyways, so now moving on, let's take a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the one month time frame here. A couple of days ago, we took out a lot of liquidity to the downside right here. And now it seems that on the one month time frame, we have most of the liquidity to the upside. For example, we have about $1.6 billion at 72K. And then we have another $2 billion at about 73K. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there's most liquidity on this chart. However, zooming out to the six month Bitcoin liquidation heat map. So currently there's a lot of liquidity above 70K and there is also a lot of liquidity a little bit below 50K with the current price being at about $60,000. So we're right in the middle of these two pockets of liquidity. Now, what this tells me is that it's basically a coin flip of which liquidity we are grabbing first. However, since we are in a bull market, I do think it is likely that we do take out this liquidity to the upside at some point. And another thing to add on top of that is that in scenarios like this, I don't like to make like these longer term predictions because obviously I can't know where the market is heading. So all I can do is continue to take a look at the support and resistance levels in the short term here and just make sure that I don't get ahead of myself here in analyzing the charts. Now, one thing we should take a look at is the USDT dominance chart, which has actually marked exact cycle tops as well as local tops in the price of Bitcoin. So a cycle top is when you reach some kind of all time high. And then after that, you enter into a bear market and a local top is simply just hitting some kind of high in the middle of the bull run and then getting some kind of extended or larger pullback in the price of Bitcoin. And of course, all of the altcoins and stuff go along down with it. So every time we had a touch of this trend line right here, we saw some kind of major correction in the price of Bitcoin and also the overall market. So I think right here, this local top, we saw a pullback of about 50 to 60% in the price of Bitcoin. And as you can see right now, and this is also something I talked about a couple of weeks ago, you could say that we had a touch of this trend line. And right now we are just bouncing from off that point. And so far we've seen about a 20% correction in the price of Bitcoin, but is it possible that this is just a, another local top, just like we saw in 2019, where we actually get a much larger correction? I don't want to speculate on this because obviously I'm doing it publicly in this video right now, and I don't want to make like some crazy projections. However, I do want to have shown you this chart so you can make up your own mind and come to your own conclusions by looking at the charts. 
Now taking a look at Ethereum, we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level. And after then losing the 618 Fibonacci level, we have now reached the 0.5 Fib level once again. First, we got a bit of a bounce, but now we are trading back to the downside. So this level is sitting at about 2860. And this is definitely one we need to hold because the next Fib level below that is all the way down at about $2,400 for the price of Ethereum. So zooming in on the four hour time frame for Ethereum, you can see that we are just ranging in between this level of resistance right here and this level of support right here. And this also corresponds to the FIB levels that I just talked about. So basically we are just trading in a range between these two FIB levels until we either break it to the upside or to the downside. But in my opinion, Ethereum is simply going to follow the Bitcoin price. So this is something that I would personally take a look at. Like, for example, if we lose this level of support, well, in that case, I do think it's likely that Ethereum will also lose this level of support. However, this is, of course, not financial advice. So do make sure to keep that in mind. Now, taking a look at Solana on the daily time frame. First of all, we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level. And then as soon as we lost the 618 Fib level, well, we traded to the 0.5 Fib level. However, currently we are trading below the Fibonacci level and we have about eight hours left to close above this level. Otherwise, technically, we have lost this support level as well. So the level to look out for is about $136. Though one thing we must keep in mind is that Solana is currently trading in a very nice level of support. As you can see right here, we had a decent amount of price action in exactly this range. So I do expect that it would take at least some chopping around before we get a good break to the downside, or potentially we might just get a bounce back to the upside from of this level. In my humble opinion though, I think it is very likely that it simply follows the Bitcoin price action, generally speaking where if Bitcoin loses this level of support right here at the 60K level, then Solana is likely to lose this level of support as well. And in the case that we do lose this 124 level of support, then the next level below that is from about 115 all the way down to 100 US dollars for the price of Solana. However, in the case that we do just get a bounce back to the upside right now, then the next level of resistance above us is from about $140 all the way up to $150. Hey, and also I want to zoom out a little bit on the weekly chart and empathize with the people that just recently got into crypto and, and they bought like the very top here and now they're down bad on all these like altcoins and stuff that they're, they probably got into like sheep or maybe, maybe something like that. Look, man, if it's your first time in a bull run, this really sucks that this happens, especially if you got into altcoins, like for example, Solana here, which is already like a large cap coin, obviously is down 44%. So some of these smaller cap coins are just down bad. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm really sorry if that happened to you and hopefully you can take this time to like learn more about crypto and understanding how all of this works. So you can kind of try to avoid that next time. But yeah, I did, did just kind of want to say that because this has happened to me in the past and I know it really sucks. And whenever you're watching a YouTuber like consistently and they don't even acknowledge that or something, you're like, dude, what the fuck? Like I just lost like so much money <laughs> and no one even gives a shit. Like, man, I care. And I'm sorry to hear that you lost money. You know, I just wanted to have said it. Thank you for watching once again and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.